looking at a copy of Wrestling Title History's fourth edition by Gary Will. <laughs> How appropriate, because tonight, here on FWA TV, history will be made. As I said before, Mike Quackenbush, <laughs> you accepted the challenge. And now I set the stipulation for your title defense against Jake Daniels. I have decided, after much deliberation, it will be a last man standing match. That's right, no count out, no DQ, no time limit. The last man to answer the 10 count loses, which is what is gonna happen to you, Mike Quackenbush. <laughs> Too bad, of course, you're training for the match and won't get to see this until after you lose your title. <laughs> so, after tonight, I'm gonna get my best pen, go to page 71, and I am gonna write in the name of Jake Daniels. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> setbacks as of late. For example, I was DDT by Mike Quackenbush, who then barely, just barely, beat me to retain my FWA title belt. So it became obvious to me that I needed a new member of the organization to help me carry out <laughs> my master plan. Normally, I would hire an executive search firm to find the qualified candidate. However, drastic situations require drastic measures. I went down to the streets of Brooklyn to find the most violent, the most sadistic, the sickest individual I could find, and that person is homicide. <laughs> the most violent man in the independent circuit is coming to FWA. Do you know, now I'm not gonna beat you, I'm gonna murder you in a ring because I'm one of the crazy mother... Oh, 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 oh. Family, family show, family show. Family? I don't give a f up to money. You better pay me real good uh, for this. 401k, 401k, okay. good perks. Anyway, quack a bush. Tonight, my man Jake gonna destroy you. And I'd like to have a piece of you too, because you is the big indie star. So the 187 isn't the FWA. way. So I feel sorry. Fear me, because you don't get the violence. <laughs> You know, I don't care who I wrestle. All I care about is making my way up the FWA rankings. Now, I'm wrestling Homicide this week. Homicide, you've already been bragging that you're the toughest man in the FWA, that you're the baddest man in the FWA, that you're from Brooklyn, New York. Well, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. They only make them one way in Chicago, Illinois. They make them tough, they make them bad. Welcome to FWA TV. My name's Jeff Gorman along with RC, and we have Dino Devine set to go against a newcomer to the FWA named Homicide. Hey, you know what, Jeff? I can't believe it. The stipulation we just heard from the president, Dan Moreland, the guy that's in the ring, a last man standing match. And he hasn't even told Mike Quackenbush about it. Quack getting ready for this match right now. He doesn't even know the rules. Oh, man, how fair is that? I can't stand this guy. And, and you're his best friend, I heard. Oh, I don't think so. Last man standing, of course. You've got to knock your opponent out for a 10 count. It's basically a knockout match. One of the most brutal matches in wrestling. Quackenbush is going to have to put his title on the line against Jake Daniels later tonight. And Quack doesn't even know about the last man standing stipulation. No DQs, no count outs. I think the, uh, the deck is pretty much stacked in favor of the president and Jake Daniels. But how about this, Dino Devine against this new guy, Homicide. And we heard from him, he said he's the most violent guy in the independent scene, well, we'll find out. And the most violent guy on the streets of Brooklyn. That's a very heavy statement, and we'll see if he can back it up. We know what Dino Devine can do. He's one of the toughest guys in the FWA. And don't forget, Dino Devine, like you said, is from Chicago, Illinois. That's not a bad city to be from either. Not bad at all. 
These two seem to match up pretty evenly from a size standpoint, and Homicide immediately pie faces Divine, and the brawl breaks out early. This could be a fight, and I love it this week. Let's fight. Divine whips Homicide in, and a huge backdrop. Good God. Sent him up to the sky. Divine, once again, catches him with a power slam. Colleen at ringside, we know she can handle herself very well. Oh, yeah. And there goes Homicide. Maybe heading back to Brooklyn. I can't believe it. And what's Dan Moreland thinking? He brought this guy, and I know for a fact that Dan Moreland paid this guy a lot of money. That's right, as he uh, is going to give everything in that suitcase to Homicide, probably at the end of this match. Homicide counting on a lot of money here, but he's going to have to get the job done in the ring. Another great crowd this week at the FWA Arena. They're all here to see that big FWA title match happening later on tonight. Last man standing, incredible. I know, it's amazing how Dan Moreland does anything he can to stick it to the fans. We've talked about it a lot, RC. Anybody who the fans get behind, yeah. like Dino Devine in the ring, really becomes an enemy of Dan Moreland. And Homicide is the man he's brought in, his hired gun, so to speak. And unfortunately, Dan Moreland can do what he did because he's the president. I know, he's not above abuse of power and a big right hand forearm to the back by Homicide. And forearm to the face, Homicide loves to rough it up in there I mean, as far as the uh, reputation that we've heard, but he's showing it right now. Name like Homicide. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's about as tough of a wrestling name as you can pretty much come up with. Big chop, Homicide looking very good here after a slow start. Irish whip, here comes Homicide with a running forearm to the face. And Dino Devine really taken out of his game here. One, two, and a two count there. And I wouldn't be surprised if Dino Devine didn't have very much advanced knowledge that he'd be facing Homicide. Yeah, you're right, the way Dan Worland works. Oh There's the Mafia kick by Homicide. Is he connected, do you think? Hey, well, he lives pretty close. We better watch what we say. In Brooklyn, yeah. And now, right across the throat, Homicide showing no mercy in there, trying to bring the streets of Brooklyn right here to the FWA ring. I know for a fact, Jeff, that Dan Moreland told Homicide, break the rules if they suspend you or fine you, don't worry, I have the money to cover it. That's right, and I think that's why Dan Moreland is so powerful, because not only can he offer uh, his wrestlers money, he can also offer them carte blanche to do anything they want in the ring. Look at him now! Speaking of which, Moreland doing whatever he wants, and Colleen protesting to the referee, D. Edwards. This might get me in trouble, but I think he's a jerk. It might get you in trouble, RC. You gotta be careful. He might be partnerless next week. Ha! Huh. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe uh, Moreland might uh, take more TV time for himself for his uh, From the Desk segments. One, two, and a kick out by Dino Devine. Homicide really keeping up the pressure here. But I know for a fact that Dino Devine has told me that he wants to work his way up the ranks here in the FWA. Now, what is this? Oh, look at this. And now, Moreland choking him out. Come on. I wish, I wish Colleen would do something about him. I think she's going to. She's running him off right now. She's threatening to slap him, and Moreland's cowering away. Good. Told you how much of a wimp he is. We've seen Colleen look pretty good in the ring in the past. Oh, there he She got him. Good. Good for him. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Homicide had a hold of Colleen there, but now Dino Devine put a stop to that. Yeah, she better watch it, because Homicide, he, he don't care, he's nuts. Dino Devine very protective of Colleen, as you see him running uh -oh. off Dan Moreland right now, uh -oh. but Homicide's going after her again. Yeah. Dino Devine now chasing Dan Moreland around the ring, but I think Get Homicide... Him. Homicide's laying in wait. Oh, man, oh, man. Wow. Where was he hiding? I'm sure he's used that move on the streets of Brooklyn. Boy, this crowd is pumped up this week. Wow, they certainly are. Definitely seeing a war between Dino Devine and Homicide. These two really taking it to each other on the floor and now back in the ring. Is the mayor, is the FWA getting tougher and tougher every week, it seems? It always does. New people keep coming in and it keeps raising the bar. And now Homicide raising himself to the top rope. What's he going for here? Who knows? Off the top, Homicide drops the elbow. Is that it? That's going to be one, two. No, Dino Devine kicks out. Oh, and Dan Moreland's not happy about that. Right to the throat again goes Homicide. He will stop at nothing. And again, he knows that he can do pretty much whatever he wants in there. 
And I'm not even sure if uh, Dan Moreland is hoping that Homicide even wins this match. He no. could lose the match on a DQ as long as he hurts Dino Devine. You're right. Uh-oh. Devine firing back with those left-hand shots. He caught him. Uh-oh. Off the ropes. This could be a problem. Oh! Oh, man! Samoan drop almost turned him into a Spicoli driver off the ropes. Homicide coming down right on his head. Well, look at Dino Devine. He's still favoring his injuries. He has to get up here and get going. Well, Dino can win this thing, I think, if he... No, Homicide is actually getting up from that. I cannot believe it. Moreland trying to get the fans to quiet down, but that's not going to happen. Here comes Devine with a double boot to the face by Homicide. Oh, and what a lariat. Took his head off. Boy, I'm impressed with Homicide. Moreland really has found himself a weapon here. And I know for a fact Moreland said, do what you want to do in there. He's like a loose cannon. Two counts, but Dino Devine hanging tough in there. We've seen Devine in some very brutal matches, and he keeps coming back for more. It's good to see Colleen back at ringside after that, uh, that loss she had last week on FWA TV against Candy. She's back there and ready to go. She's showing some toughness there as well. Swing and a miss. Devine goes in, cuts him down from behind, sets him up for a nice... Sort of a uh, curtain call suplex there. Like an inverted DDT almost. Something to that effect. And yeah, he really lifted him up and then spiked him. One, two, and Devine's going to get... Oh, I thought he uh -huh. had him. I thought he did too. But both these guys really taking a lot of punishment, and they're both still in the match. And now Devine laying in some shots. Referee is kind of letting these two go, you know? Sometimes you have to do that when you got a couple brawlers in there. He's probably afraid of homicide. I would be. I would be. I would just stand back and count to three whenever it's time. <laughs> and now again, homicide paintbrushing the head of Devine. He's cocky. That's cocky. Showing disrespect there. Another move from off the streets. Big suplex. A nice counter there by Devine. Moreland had his, ja has his jacket off. The, displaying one of your one of your favorite ties. Don't you have a tie like that at home? I think I had to burn it after I saw that <laughs> Moreland owned one. Two! Wait a minute. Looks oh. like Moreland may have been trying to interfere there. Both these guys trying to come back from all the punishment they've taken. This has been a war and somebody's gonna have to give out. They're not gonna give up, but their body is just gonna have to give out. Some's gonna give. Irish whip. Here comes Devine with a big clothesline in the corner. And now setting him up. Pump handle slam, maybe? Oh, yeah! There it is. One, two. Oh. He kicked out again. That's how nuts Homicide is. I think he likes pain. I think Homicide likes pain. I'm sure he's felt a lot of pain in his life. And it's really toughened him up for the wrestling ring. And Homicide's been able to sneak out of the ring there. Unbelievable. And now Dino Devine's got to say, what am I going to do to put this guy away? He's kicked out of everything. Everything. He's given him everything and still nothing. Now, Homicide's on the outside. This can't be good. Watch out, Colleen. How is Homicide still moving? But Dino Devine, being a smart veteran, he's just waiting. He knows Homicide's got to come to him. What's Moreland doing up on the ring with that stupid briefcase of his? And now Colleen on the other side. Oh, yeah. Oh, he got Dino Devine in the head with that briefcase. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, God, man. he dumped him on his head. That's the Toyota driver. That's right, Toyota driver. Two and three. Oh. Homicide wins. Because of damn Moreland. And look at that grin on the face of Homicide. He gets the win, he gets the money, and he gets a lot of notoriety in the FWA. A win over a big gun here, Dino Devine. Wrestling fans coming up that big FWA title match. We'll be right back on FWA TV. And welcome back to FWA TV, but where did, where did, did, did Mike Quackenbush, he was in the ring a minute ago. That's right, he sort of left, and he's got his big match here for the FWA title against Jake Daniels. Making and his way to the come. ring. And here comes Quack from oh. behind with the belt. Quack oh. snuck in and nailed it from behind with the title. No DQ here, RC. Anything goes as it was last man standing stipulations. Literally at the last minute. Nice leg sweep there by Quack. Quack was totally surprised. He could not prepare at all. Wow, kick to the back. Last man standing, no DQ, no count out. Got it. You know, and the, and the way to win is you have to have your opponent down 
for 10 seconds. He can't make the 10 count, then he loses the match. This is what we've talked about with the abuse of power by yes. the president, Daniel G. Moreland. His bodyguard in there whips Quack in, and now handspring into a double reverse Beal kick. Quack looking good here, but uh, he's really on the defensive here. Obviously, the champion always is. Hangman's neck breaker there. And who knows how long, who knows when Quack knew about this stipulation? I think he learned about it right when we did, oh. just, a, just a minute before the match. Count. Quack desperately trying to keep Jake Daniels down for 10, but it's only three. Now, Quack's strategy went totally out the window. He's thinking pinfalls, and yeah. pinfalls don't even count. Oh! Whoa he just airmailed him like the javelin in the olympics i don't think lightning mike quackenbush has wrestled such a powerful guy like jake daniels before and this match totally favors jake daniels because you know quackenbush with his high flying moves looking to hook him up for a pin attempt but again it We're just doesn't mean anything if you're talking about a beat down match what this yeah. is it's all jake daniels Michael, we were up to seven at that point. That's not good news for Mike Quackenbush. Still very early in the match, and Quack was down for seven. So things really looking good for Jake Daniels, challenging for the FWA title. Big clothesline there. Quack has held the FWA title almost since its inception. Loki had it for a little while. Tommy Idol had it first. But other than that, it's been all Quackenbush. And uh, Daniels trying to bring that all to a screeching halt here. Sets him up for a shoulder breaker. Right to the back area. Here comes everybody's on Dan Moreland's case. I don't like him. You don't like him. No one likes him. Abuse of power, that's for sure. And you got to give credit to Dan Moreland. I mean, like him or not, and nobody does, but it is a very smart strategy. This is one of the most fiendish, diabolical schemes we've ever seen him come up with, and we've seen him come up with some doozies. You're right. Jake Daniels wrestling with a lot of confidence. He's really got everything stacked in his favor. He just needs to keep beating on Quack. Double boot to the face. Quack has, what, what, what will Quack have to do to keep this big man down? I think Quack's gonna need to do some things that he's not used to. Oh. Big slam, but Quack pops back up. And a oh. drop kick in the corner. I think Quack needs to rough it up and really, I mean, he's gotta actually cheat. I know that's not really in his, that's the only way I think he can win this thing. He's going to need something. Use chairs, whatever it takes, Quack. Oh. Daniels throws Quack over, but he hangs on once again. Daniels trying to recollect himself. Another thing Quack might want to do is try to make this match go long. Missile drop kick on a springboard into the ring. Quack might try to tire him out. Yeah, because he's a bigger guy. You know he's not going to be able to go very long. Look at Quackenbush now. Up top. Look at this. Oh, oh he caught him. Oh. He, he, God almighty, he caught him. He caught him on the fly oh. and just spiked him on the floor. God, he just threw him down on the concrete. That could be a 10 count right there. That could be the title right there. Ref's going to have to start counting. There's no mats down there at ringside in the FWA. But oh. more damage into the post. Boy, Jake Daniels, this match is really going right his way. The fans are chanting for Quack. I don't know if Quack can answer this 10 count, RC. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if Quack would be able to get up. Refs up to five on that count. Quack could be done. Up to seven. Eight, that's it. No, he's back up. Quack made it back up. How? I don't know. Boy, Dan Moreland really came up with a plan here. He tried to win the, mat the uh, title himself, but since he failed, look out! Danger German suplex! He threw him all the way across the ring. Oh, I don't know. Quack is definitely, he might have met his match this week. I don't want to, you know, sell him short, but Mike Quackenbush, he trains and prepares for a certain type of match, and this is not what he's, he's looking for. Not at all. Another danger German suplex, man. He's just tossed him in a oh. I mean, I've seen Quack wrestle against bigger guys before, and I've seen Quack win those kind of matches, but this is a match where you have to brawl, and that's really not Quack's forte. It's not what he's used to doing. We're up to six now. Crowd getting behind Quack this week, FWA Arena. One of the most beloved champions the FWA has ever had. These fans love this guy. And we've seen him defend the title against so many opponents. We've seen him against Loki, against Don Montoya. But this could be the toughest right here. This man in this kind of match. I don't know if he can do it. And you see, he's trying to brawl. Look out. 
almost a low kick. Setting up. Is he going to do it? Exploder suplex. He got him over. That's for you, I think he's saying. Oh, we know there's a, there's a big history between Dan Moreland, our president, and Mike Quackenbush. He's chasing Moreland back. Wait, wait, wait where's, where's Moreland going? Moreland's heading out of here. Oh, I don't believe he's, he's chicken. He's chicken. That's what he is. Well, he knows what Quack can do because he felt it in the ring in Quack's last title defense, pinning Dan Moreland himself with the legendary alligator clutch. But now it looks like Quack is able to get this finally one on one without having to worry about Moreland. Here we go. Oh! Big splash all the way across wait, the ring. Wait a minute. Wait. It's homicide. Homicide's what, here, too. We saw him earlier this week. What is. Oh! Palm strike by Quackenbush and homicide's out. And this is fair. And the secret weapon, one more time. We saw Dan Moreland bring him in, but now he's interfering in the title match. But it's no DQ, Jeff. This is all legal. Big boot to the face there. Version of a mafia kick. Wait, quack. Wait a minute, here comes Dino. God, Dino's Dino Divine. And he's going at it. We saw these two going at it earlier, earlier this week. Earlier. And look at him going at it now. Dino. He has a chair. He is no. holding this. Nobody home there. This is like two matches at once. Colleen is in shock at what's happened to her man. Colleen's down at ringside. This is getting crazy. Double underhook suplex by Jake Daniels in the ring. And Colleen has saw her man try to come to the rescue, and Colleen's going back to the back. I think she's trying to get some help. And the referee, D. Edwards, can't do anything about any of this. Big suplex. Because of our jerk president. Oh, I'm going to pay for that one. Oh, you are. Homicide has a chair. No one's safe now. Dan Moreland, his plan could be coming to fruition. He may finally get the FWA title off Mike Quackenbush. Power slam. Wait a minute. Colleen went back and she got Don Montoya. What's All he right. doing here this week? Montoya trying to help out, but Homicide's oh. taking everybody out with a chair. Montoya was here. What's he doing here this week? Colleen went to get him. My God almighty. Look at this. Homicide's chasing here Colleen away. Loki's here this week. Oh. What the hell's he doing here? Loki coming back. Look at good. Now what's he setting up for here? Went for one of those kicks. Uh -oh. oh, he's got caught in the Toyota oh, driver. God, Toyota driver. Homicide is laying everybody out. But what is Loki and Dom Montoya doing here this week? They had a brutal ladders, ladders and tables match we saw weeks ago. Boy, this plan is getting even more diabolical as this was plan B. Plan A was the last man standing stipulation. Now plan B is homicide. He's taking everybody out. He is the most violent man on the streets of Brooklyn. Montoya came down to help out. He got taken out. Look at this. Oh! Loki's now been taken out. Laid him out with the pyramid bomb. Oh, here, oh, here, here come oh, the tag my, team finally champs. Finally, the family oh, of yeah. freaks. Tag team champs are in the ring. Now it's even. The Good family of freaks they're finally right. putting an end to this carnage. Wait. And they're saying, bring it on. What the? What? What the? No way! No! Spicoli driver on Quack! The D Spicoli no, DVD no, driver! No. No, what are they doing? Two thumbs up by Dan Moreland. No! They were in on it all along, too. They're we're, plan C. We're being scammed here, Jeff. Your jam! Oh, come on! Those rotten sons of... The family of freaks not only have the tag team belts, but they're on the side of Dan Moreland as well. This... How can Quackenbush stand up to this? Quackenbush is wrestling four guys right now. Everybody's against him. He's just getting beat down here. Did Dan Moreland get to the FWA Tag Team Champs? Did he pay totally. them off? Look, RC, the ref's counting. No. Daniels is picking him up one more time. Oh, he's going to go for that pyramid bomb. Oh. He got him. God, Quackenbush. I've never seen that move in the United States here. before tonight. Here's the count. It is a killer oh. move. Five, come on, Quack. If it gets come to on. 10, that's yeah. it. The title reign is over. Eight, come on, Quack. Look at this. Nine. Oh, no. That's it. No. Pyramid bomb on Dino Devine no. by the new champ, Jake Daniel. Oh, my God. Montoya. They gave him the pyramid bomb, too. This is horrible. What the hell? No, leave her alone. That move has laid out all four guys in the 
ring. Nobody can get up from the pyramid bomb. And Daniels is the new champ. They've got Colleen. What are they going to do to Colleen? She's got to get out of there. I know she wants to protect her man, but Colleen is in really oh. dangerous territory. No. No. No, no. Now this is good. Oh. Chief, I can't believe this new Choke champion. Slam. Dale Moreland right now has the championship. He has the tag team champions. This is the plan. He's got it all. This is the plan. Dan Moreland's men have completely dominated FWA, and everybody's been taken out. We have been duped. RC, I guess we're going to have to try to wrap things up, but the plan has come to fruition, and Jake Daniels is the new FWA champion. This is horrible, horrible, Jeff. I was wrestling fans think, oh, I, 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 oh, the hell, I, I don't know what to say. RC, I can't believe what we've just seen. A total stacked deck against Mike Quagglebush, and now Jake Daniels is the FWA champion. Dan Moreland got everything he wanted tonight. You talk about a plan, that has been the master plan all along with President Dan Moreland. And the thing that really brought it together was the addition of homicide to his side, and then who thought that the family of freaks was gonna join up with Dan Moreland? It's all about the money, my friend. Obviously, Dan Moreland got into the pockets of the family of freaks. This is absolutely disgusting. Well, speaking of disgusting, unfortunately, we're about to see the Dan Moreland victory party with all what? these guys. We're going to that right now after us. Well, I'm sorry, no disrespect, but you can stay and watch. I'm not, I'm out of here. Hey, I don't blame you, I'll wrap it up. So, we will be off next week. We will see you on November the 2nd. For RC, this is Jeff Gorman saying we'll see you next time on RCN Cable with FWA TV. And now let's go to that fantastic victory party for Dan Moreland and his friends. I told you so! I told you so! <laughs> I told you so! The master plan has come to fruition! <laughs> Tonight will be the biggest celebration of all time! My money, my brains, has formed the most incredible organization the FWA has ever seen! All the gold is here! The sickest, the most sadistic, the most violent individual in the FWA! Homicide! the tag team champs, the family of freaks, and the heavyweight champion, Jake Daniels. Tonight, we are going to hit every bar in Pennsylvania, including Shorty's and Kutztown. And there's another bar, highly recommended, don't know much about Allentown. We're also gonna be hitting the Stonewall tonight. It will be the biggest celebration of all time. Thank you very much, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Again, these people want us to get in the ring with Kali. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Well, of course I'll be fine if I have you standing there telling me what to do. I mean, as a team, we're okay. We'll, we'll get by this one. Well, I'm sorry to tell you this, but the FWA told me that if I want the ringside, I would be suspended. You're on your own tonight. On my own? By myself. They want me to get in the ring with that man, Colleen, by myself. Don't worry, honey. I got faith in you. You have faith in me. That's reassuring. A couple of weeks ago, you had faith that you were going to come up here and win their tag belts. And where's the belt? Oh, yeah, you didn't win. Your faith means so much to me. I know you can't wrestle. We found that out a couple of months ago in our mixed tag match. But now that your little boyfriend has been suspended from ringside, it's a one-on-one -on -one ladies match. FWA has finally granted me my one wish to get you in the ring by yourself. Ronnie's not allowed.
Our opponent. 